Hello guys and welcome back. So uh, on to this video uh, we are going to install 6 mil shower panels are very thin and you have to be quite careful with this type of panels because they are going to get damaged very quickly. It's very easy to work with them but you have to have a little bit of space to work with because like I said it's very easy to get them damaged. So I'm going to show you uh, the panels in just one second uh, and we are going to also use some end beads and corner beads also. Everything I'm going to cut uh, with my knife and with a grinder and uh, I'm going to use a tiling blade. So I have my grinder here. I always prefer this type of tool because my lines are going to be nice and straight. When I'm going to do it with the knife, usually you might, it might be that is going to go a little bit uneven. So uh, yeah, let's pass to the panels. And here we go. Uh, these are our panels. Uh, it's a gray uh, marble effect. And yeah. And that is the thickness, so the, the, the thickness of the panel uh, 6 mil. And yeah. So here we have our end bead and the corner bead. So each and every corner should have one of these. Actually, they don't have to have one of those because you can uh, also um, cut them and close them down, uh, flush one with another with a bit of silicon at the back and the front of the panel and it's going to do the job. And that is the end bead. Uh, these are going to be used whenever we are going to end our panels near to a door frame, for example, and it's going to go out from the architrave. And we don't want to see that nasty edge. And in that case, we are just going to use these three here. So yeah. I think uh, that is going to cover most of the things that I need to do around here. And yeah, actually before I'm going to forget, uh, the client uh, bought all these materials for me and the company that um, sold this panel, they recommended the silicon uh, multi-purpose so this is what I'm going to use usually I use the proper adhesive for this type of panels but uh, probably this is going to be fine seeing that it's not that thick it's not that uh, uh, heavy and the silicon has a quite good grip uh, so all right at this point we are just going to start the job by preparing everything um, actually most of the walls were prepared uh, and i just uh, clean them wipe them uh, not to have any grease on them or other types of chemicals wipe down everything and start to install the panels Alright guys, so I've just finished to cut a few pieces and I'm going to start from that corner, going that side and this side. So I cut a few pieces for this side and a few for that side. I'm going to start by 
putting a bit of silicon all around and put my corner bead on it and then start uh, by inserting in all the panels Alright guys, so I applied a little bit of silicon even on uh, the corner bead and then we are ready to apply it. And I'm going to put a bit of silicon even inside the corner bead. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the wall is not that straight and I have a gap over there. That is going to give me some trouble, but for now, uh, the best idea is just to fill it with silicon and not have those voids at the back.
No, this banner is not going very well inside, so I will need to cut from the top and from the bottom a little bit from the panel, uh, these, these, these edges here, so it can slide all the way into that corner bead. That's why I usually prefer without corner beads, because they can give you a lot of headaches. some quick cuts
All right, guys. Uh, so most of the job is done now. Most of it. We still need to do uh, this side right here. So yeah, I was saying most of the shower panels now uh, are fit into place. Uh, we still need to do some uh, making wood all around there. I'm going to fill that with some silicon. Then a uh, shower tower is going to be on top of that. But yeah, when, when you have uh, holes like that, it's always good to cover them if enough water is going to go at the back. And you are going to get in big trouble. So right now, at the moment, I'm just going to finish that side off. So yeah, let's uh, let's carry on. All right, so I had to tidy up a little bit the place because it was quite messy and I don't like to work in a mess, uh, especially when you work with the shower panels. If you are going to lay them on the floor and you are going to have a small stone, some debris, you are just going to uh, have a mark into your panel and then it's kind of unusable you cannot use it anymore I'm just going to carry on with my paneling Alright guys, so I just finished with all the paneling, as you can see, uh, we've done everything, even this bit and that bit, and I will need a corner bead for this side, which I don't have at the moment, we just need to uh, buy it, put an order in. And, I, uh, and just wait for that to come. Uh, yeah, more or less everything is done. Right now I'm just going to start to paint the ceiling. They were telling me to put this uh, cladding here, even on the ceiling. 
but they've changed their mind, so I will just need to paint it now. But as you can see, all uh, the whole walls were done, uh, and it wasn't that difficult to do. Uh, some uh, tricky cuts here and there, but uh, yeah, everything is done at this point. Um, I have some very small gaps around in between the panels, but I'm quite happy with that. It's not that bad. Now, I don't know how much you can see that, but yeah, in, uh, in some of the panels, it's just uh, less than a mil gap in between the panels and I believe I can live with that nothing here nothing here okay here we have a, just a little bit but it's so tiny that I don't think you can see it through the camera so yeah at this point uh, our walls are completed with the shower panel, 6 mil shower panel, marble grey effect. Um, and at this point, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you on the next one. Squeeze that like button.